Resorts released its third quarter earnings and outlook for the remainder of the year. CEO Matt Maddox says the company is not going to sacrifice its brand or culture to make an extra few dollars. While they have significantly less staff, some 7,400 fewer staff globally now than pre-COVID, they are still operating at a five-star level around the globe. Now, their goal here in Las Vegas for the interim to make sure they continue to break even or make a little money. Some of the encouraging things they're seeing is a greater share of the casino segment. New domestic customers that were previously lifers at competing hotel casinos are now spending their money at the win. They believe their safety protocols and all their restaurants being open have helped them take the market share on the casino side. I believe we are gaining share on that front. In October in Las Vegas, we actually had our best month. We generated roughly 14 million of EBITDA in October. Uh, we had a little bit of hold uh, luck in there, maybe $2 million. But overall, uh, it, was, it was a very good month. Now, as everyone on the call knows, uh, Las Vegas has uh, seasonality, and we're coming in to the slow time. So COVID cases are picking up in the U.S., obviously, and November, December are quite slow in Las Vegas and have been heavily reliant on group. Wynn has also increased its online sports betting, acquiring a company out of the U.K., and has begun its U.S. rollout by signing market access deals in nine states in the U.S. Caesars also had an earnings call today. We'll have those details tonight at 6.